Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I, I don't know, I got this, this episode very weirdly there. <laughs> From your guys' side it doesn't make any difference, but I like sat down after coming into the room and immediately started recording because I already had the game open. Like, I, I just got home from going out for food, booted up the game, booted up Steam, booted up OBS, and then left it, and then came back to it, and just kind of, the moment I sat down started recording, it felt very strange. Anyways, let's, uh, let's randomise our boy and see who we might get today, see who we might get. Randomise Maggie to Ultra Greed. We don't have to do Ultra Greed, but we can definitely do Maggie, we've got a lot to do as her. Um, I don't think I've got Maggie's pill unlocked yet, though. I'd very much like to do that at some point, because it's very, very, very... Oh, wait, no, we do. Yum heart, a pill. Okay, nice. So, something we have to do. If you're playing as Maggie, you have to hold R until you get a sacrifice room. It is just the only way to play her. If you don't do it, then more fool you, because once she has the pill, getting an instant play on a sac room is it's just so satisfying. You can get a ton of soul hearts out of it, potentially. You can get uh, angel deals, obviously. It's just... It's the only way to play Now, we do have the unfortunate caveat of it taking forever to reroll our run, but there's a sack room, so it doesn't even matter. Baby, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not great, but not... Do you know what? I don't think I've ever effectively used this. I don't think I've ever effectively used this item before. Not a very good angel deal item, I'll be honest, but it's something. I will try and make use out of it where I can. Oh, wow. I'll be honest, I did not know it did that. I did not know it pushed enemies back at that sort of an insane... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap fire, like, all the time here. Because I didn't know that it could, like, push enemies into walls at lightning speed like that. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it's a little bit finicky to make it happen on purpose unfortunately it does not blast the fire back either which would have been cool but understandably so i know it blasts brimstones back anyways as for um as for the question of the day today what would you say is your strange addiction what would you say is like something that you would say i'm not even particularly addicted to it doesn't have to be like proper addicted but like what you'd call your strange addiction for me, I've definitely, I've definitely sort of, th I think for me, it's definitely licorice. I, I just eat an inordinate amount of licorice. I, I think I spoke about this on an episode a while back that I'd, um, yeah, get out, get away from me. That I'd bought like a ma absolutely massive box of licorice. Um, uh, I'm still working my way through it, I'm about halfway through it at the moment. Um, I'm only having like one stick or less a day. I'm not having a ton. Do you know what? This thing's actually like... I I've never ever used this thing, like, effectively before, because it's never it's never ever been my first item, but you know what? It's pretty good. I did not know about the utility of it, like, if you, if you ram it into an enemy's face, it's actually pretty good. Harlequin, baby. Tis what it is. Um, yeah, definitely, oh, just, licorice is just, like, I've, I, like, this is a very weird thing to say, but do you know how, like, when women get pregnant, they, um, they have, like, really strange cravings? Um, and, or, or like, they have, like, really specific cravings. I th I feel like, if that was me, it would just be so much licorice. I absolutely love it. It's so good. I'm pushing these guys into the fires at the minute. Oh, it's gonna be meltdown, isn't it? It's not meltdown! Holy shit! That's crazy. I just love the bonk. Get out of here. <laughs> I did not know it bonked like that. I love it. Oh my god. It's, it's pretty entertaining. Also, shot speed tears. Pretty good stuff. Um, also, okay, that shot speed is pretty pretty hefty. Pretty hefty. What, what are we doing here today? What are we doing here? Um, we are doing Light Path Mega Satan, I think. Um... I just want to go and check out how many we are off of the potential payout of Soul Hearts. One. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do... I don't need to kill this guy yet, but I'm going to because I think we have the damage to do so. We can use the spikes as well to deal a bit of damage. I really love the fact that you can do that. Um, oh, God. 
Oh, I managed to knock him back just in the nick of time, baby. Just in the nick of time. Also, we can potentially brimstone this guy if we get the angle right. He's not going to let us do it now, is he? Nah, sadly not. It's fine. It's fine. we got a key piece out of it. And then we'll go boom. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes. And then we'll do one more as well, because why not? Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. So we're getting our uh, angel pieces all ready. This is why Maggie is just the best. Damn it. I want to push his brimstone beams back into him, but it's not, not really going my way. Also, you've spawned babies. Unfair. Completely unfair. But what, what, a, what an interesting first vlog on an item that I generally regarded as kind of crap. And it's actually putting in some work. I'm sure later in the run I won't be using it quite as much as I am now. But um, it's doing it's doing some good stuff for us right now. And we'll get both of our pieces. Oh, there you go, baby. It worked. It did the thing it's meant to do. I just got to make sure to tap fire all the time. So I'm constantly firing out the beams. The shield, should I say. And yeah, we've already got our piece, which is actually pretty good, because not only does that increase our angel chance, um, but that puts us in a position to uh, get more eternal hearts, which is kind of good, especially as Maggie. Um, and we got a ton of soul hearts out of it. We got the best, best possible payouts we could hope for here. So we'll just head on down. Pretty good Maggie start. Pretty good Maggie start. You've got, you've got to take the sack rooms when they come your way. You've just, you've just got to. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and utilize this as much as I plausibly can. Now, what I really could use is the item that gives you constant Curse of Darkness, because that would give us permanent piercing. Now, that's, that's an Eternal Heart there. We do have another one of these, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we only have six uses so far, so let's, let's hold off for now. But that could be quite lucrative. Don't get hit there. Aha, smished you into the corner, fella. Lovely. Pop in here real quick and we get spider egg. We'll spawn a spider every 5.5 seconds if the player fires a tier. Um, if the player fires a tier, which spawns a blue spider on landing. That's, that's worded strangely, but I think I get what it means. I also kind of like it that there's a diplopia there, not that I'm using it. Okay. Annoying ass room, but shouldn't be a problem. But basically, every now and again, we're going to be spawning spiders. It's 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 good. It is good. I like. Also, Harlequin Baby's just been chilling here, not doing much for us. But yeah, there you go. You see that egg there? Launches a little, little friend for us. Lots of spiders in the, his house. For, to be fair, for a quality three, it doesn't spawn an awful lot of spiders, but it's decent. I wish it spawned more spiders if the egg hit an enemy. But yeah, I think I'm going to take another sack room and try and get uh, more stuff. But I'm going to obviously check to see if we get our uh, deal first. I don't know. Will it take us to a devil deal or angel deal? I don't, I don't know how that works with sack rooms. It does take you to the angel deal regardless, doesn't it? Even if we get a devil deal. Yeah, let's 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 keep it keep it going for now. I just don't want to use all my soul hearts on it. Is the only thing. I suppose I could get more, but it's a risk, is what I'm saying. It's 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 a pretty big risk. I want to clear the floor first so that I definitely get my eternal heart to pay out at the end of the floor before I do anything with that sack room. I still think I I, I still think I'm going to do something with it, but I'm just I want to be sure first. Damn it! I tried to launch you into the wall. In fact, you're in the perfect spot here. Haha, ha, look at that damage, dude. I did not know you could use it so aggressively. I thought it was a purely defensive thing, and I really only considered it, like, decent for the brimstone denial of, like, certain bosses. But honestly, this has been pretty good. That's good. Okay. Back this way we go. I'll, I'll do the sack room. Why not? Why not? We could get a bunch more soul hearts back out of it anyways, so... I feel like it's worth it, even if it is sacrificing all of these soul hearts. 
It's a bit of fun, isn't it? We might get more angel deals and the like. I just hope it doesn't take us to that devil deal, but I don't think it will. Maybe I should have done it before to get the angel deal chance increase. My bad, I guess. Ah, we got the coins, unfortunately. Um... Hey! Oh, we got this as well. This is a really, really good item. Basically, um, a, every rune there'll be a random rock that gives us some good stuff. Also, I will take that too. Um, and then do that and do that. And then, no thank you with the finger burn, please. We do not need to kill you, so we could just go like that. Ah, damn it. Still, though, the money's good. The money's good. Just puts our health in a slightly more risky position than it was before, but nothing crazy. Uh, we will come out here. Our eternal heart has moved because of Curse of the Maze. There you go. We got it back. We got it back. So we are risking our angel deal on future floors now, but we got an angel item out of that. I'm pretty happy with that. And the reason I've gone for the ringworm is it gives us spectral, which I like. But also, um, with this little item we just got, we're going to be getting herming when we stand by those rocks. So if we can take advantage of that, like, as much as possible, the ringworm won't actually be that negative of an, uh, of an effect on us, really. So let's see what we've got going on in here. Birthright. Um, ooh, nice. Okay. Max HP containers has been increased. I will take that. I will grab that as well for a potential key, and I did indeed get one. Things are going well. Things are going well. I like all of this. I like big HP bars, and I cannot lie. But yeah, the birthright is good stuff for us. Moving along to the next floor. Yeah, really, health-wise, we've done remarkably well. Like, an insane amount of well. <laughs> But yeah, we come in this room, and you see there, this rock here gives us herming and stuff. The good thing is, though, that rooms with very few rocks have a, like, it's a higher chance of you knowing exactly where you're going to be situated, essentially. It spawns one every single room. It's not always going to be in our favor, is the only thing. The ringworm is a little, with the, with the shot speed, the ringworm is a little bit iffy. Oh, bad hit. In fact, it's a little more than iffy, I'll be honest. I don't know, is it is it worth the ringworm? How much how much is it giving us? Eh, it's giving us a good bit of fire rain. It is giving us spectral. I don't know, I think I'm gonna drop it. I was I was very convinced by it to start with, but I think the shot speed is actually making it a little too inconvenient. And I'd rather just have the regular shots. Now these enemies can be right pains, but they're all locked on their own island. They move at really high speeds, but like I said, they're all locked in. I'm still going to use my uh, Divine Shield here and there. They've got a lot of HP, I'm noticing, too. Luckily, we are eating spiders over there on occasion, so they'll help out a good bit. That's another one. Go, go, go. Yeah, we do have quite a big spider army, actually. Broken heart there. Don't think so. Pay one coin to spawn a hungry soul. Remove itself when you die. I don't really understand the remove itself when you die aspect of this. Well, that's kind of an interesting idea, you know. I'm going to take that. It's not super strong herming, but it's it's good. It's decent. I think it's I think the herming plus shot speed is obviously just causing issues. Herming with high shot speed means it doesn't really herm very effectively. But yeah, let's just come in this room and we pop one of those. Spawns all the ghost. Dude, why is the ghost bopping my bombs around? Stop. Does he last for the entire room? Because this could get real nutty if he does. Could get real nutty. Oh god, oh god, the herming. Oh, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Unfortunately, sir. Right, we'll do the boss now. So if I just do this, spawn some ghosties in here. Let's just go chill out. Oh, dude. This, uh, this is a very, very strong active. Holy crap. 
Okay, also, again, this does more damage to bosses with more than 150 HP, not less than, so thank you for pointing out my mistake there. But that, this active, if we can get ourselves some, some Buku books, get ourselves quite a lot of money before we get to the Mega Satan, we're going to be killing him extremely fast. Like, it's going to be kind of nutty. Okay. Certainly our shield ability has fallen off a little bit now that we've got some real damage potential. But I'm, I'm, I'm spamming it anyways. We might get something going on with it here and there. Just a tedious ash room, this. We need some more damage is what we need. Our damage is still pretty darn low. Dude, this enemy won't goddamn die. These are situations where the shield's good. Bop the enemies away from me. Unfortunately, I've gone every which wrong way in terms of getting to um, getting to the item room, apparently. A bit of a shame. We do know that this time around, we don't have to worry about boss rush, though. So time is not a big constraint for us. Okay, we've got these chaser boys again, but we can knock them away reasonably effectively. Like that look, beautiful. And large zit. Um, shoot, a white creep tier that deals double damage, taking damage. Do you know what? I never knew that large zit made you fire a double damage tier. I respect large zit slightly more than I used to. It did say that, didn't it? A double damage tier. While a white creep tier that deals double damage. Yeah, I never knew the tier that it fired deal dealt double damage. I've never taken the time to actually thoroughly read through the item description. I've just been like, oh, it fires creep. That's all I need to know. Move on to the next thing. But that's actually quite valuable. But yeah, I really hope that this run is one where we can get a good bit of money going. Because um, that will make this active... Quite insane. I think it's one of those ones that we're probably not going to use very often. We're going to save it for like the right situation. So are the specific rooms that could be better for it or um, bosses themselves. But even just spending five coins, I think could be more than enough to do some really, really good damage. So pretty excited for that. This is going to be a horrible room here. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, this is this is an awful room. How did I not get hit there? Okay, that, that somehow worked out, and I, I, I'll i be honest, I'm not really sure as to how. Morbid Heart, I will take it, thank you. Yeah, definitely, definitely in the market for some more damage right now. I think that's one of my primary concerns. My damage is very, very low. Trying to knock the enemy away, but it's, it's not working very effectively for me. Also, I want to care to darkness so I can get some goddamn uh, goddamn piercing going with this little arrow thing we've got going on. Oh my god. These enemies can be quite the pain themselves as well. Good, good, good. Not too bad. And there's some more money. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, as we get later into the game, we should see that become more and more relevant because we'll get a lot more money. I'd, I'd expect. I can't say for sure. Haha, -ha, look at that. Get the divine thing and go, boop, and it just kills him. It, I don't know how much damage it does on contact, but I think it like it tries to knock them back and it can't, so it just deals direct damage. It does pretty good damage. Um, I'm going to quickly try this out because I'd like to get access into that boss trap room. Ah, bugger. Didn't think I'd be so lucky, but I had to I had to give it a go. What's going on with these guys glowing faintly white every now and again? I'm not sure. Ooh, wooden cross is a trinket. Hell yes, I'll take that. I mean, I could get that without risk, even though I didn't get hit anyways. Careful. Item room, will you bless us with something gorgeous? Will you do it? Ow, I lost my holy mantle. Oh no. Um, Mum's eye. Oh, we've got three trinkets. We've got replace all future pills 
Um, all future pills by red pills. Strange idea. Duct tape and then safety care. I guess we're taking Mum's Eye. It does come with some pennies at least. Mum's Eye isn't particularly what we're looking for, I'll be honest. It ain't great. Get out of here, you. This little brain thing is... I'm having a hard time killing it, but I finally got it. Okay, nice. Keep shifting along. Ah, uh, that rock placement's terrible. Couldn't you have been on this rock that's right next to me? That would have been far more convenient. We're getting a lot of money, though. I'm excited. Excited to see this in action. Did accidentally move that bomb there, but I also accidentally moved it back towards the wall. Got kind of lucky with that. Oof. Not great. Ooh, although... Although, 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 nickel-eyed boy. Could you be the boy of my dreams and give me a nickel? Oh, yes, you could. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this three times in this boss fight. Also pop my devil disc. And you are very, very dungeon rings. Wow. We did get ourselves an angel deal. We also got fire rate up, which I'm very happy about. Kind of needed that. And damage, please. Scapula. Scapula's so good, but it's like so useless for anyone that's like good at the game, which I know sounds braggy, but honestly, it's just, it's one of those items that I don't really respect because some people see it as like this absolutely insane item, but once you get to the point where you're very rarely at low HP, it's like, a, it's like having a revive. It's like, it's nice to have, but you just, you know, you're not going to need it, especially on a run like this. I can be reasonably confident I'm not going to need to use scapula at all. Obviously, there is ways that you can use scapula to, like, abuse it. So, I guess in that sense it could be useful, but I doubt that's going to happen. That is certainly tempting. Uh, I just wish I had more keys to go for that with. Okay. I've still got my, uh my disc on at the minute, I didn't realise. And then here we got Snake Boy, which I, I certainly don't mind. He move around and poison boys. Ooh, my uh, my angel statue there is blocking the, the sight line on that spiky block. It's kind of scary. Same with you. Yeah, the fire has definitely helped. The fire has definitely helped. Oh, more money. Could it be? Just pop two of these bad boys in here and let them do some stuff for us. Like, we've got a little army going for us now. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. And we get one of those pennies straight back again. Any way to generate more money... Would just, yeah, just be absolutely insane. Give us deep pockets or something. I'll have to go into a shop to find that, though, but still. Don't quite know how I wasn't hit there, but I will accept it nonetheless. Ha ha ha, I get knocked away, fool. I want to knock one of these guys away while they're midair. Did I, did I do it with that one? I'm not sure if I did. Ah, bugger. Not quite. There's only Dank Depths 1, so let's go for this. Right, go for them, ghosties. Get them. I mean, they are focusing entirely on the bike right now, which I'm not happy about. Oh my god, I hate this boss so much. <laughs> my ghosts ran out. I thought they were room long, but they're not. Okay, that does dampen their abilities a little bit, but still very good, regardless. If we have a lot of money. Ah, all that time, and I just get some goddamn corn. Nah, let's keep it going. I was gonna go search the rest of the floor, but let's just keep it let's just keep it moving. Keep it rolling. We don't need to explore everything in this scenario. Curse of jamming. Don't exactly know what that means, but guess we'll find out. I'm guessing that's either your donation machine is permanently jammed, 
or it's like a gun jamming where we have a chance to not fire a tear when we when we click, which would be very, very annoying if that's the case. Whoa, what the? Okay, I'm going to guess it has something to do with that. That was confusing. Do, 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 do. My number one. Uh, my range isn't great, but I'm going to take this because I need more damage. Honestly, as well with my shot speed. Oh, okay, sh shot speed doesn't affect range anymore, though, does it? I was going to say it's actually okay with my shot speed, but shot speed does not affect range anymore, so... Not actually that good. At least we get to get pissy with it. Number one's one of those items as well that you kind of always, you, you always take when you see it, but you always like regret it a bit. I definitely regret it a little bit at the minute because our, our, our range is particularly not great um, when we took it, so it's not ideal. But, eh, it'll be fine. We'll get like mum's underwear at some point. Or, like, Mum's Heal, or whatever it's called. Okay, so, Curse of Jamming basically means that when we finish a room, there is a chance that it unclears itself in D7s. But I think we get an extra room drop chance if that does happen, which means that it's not all bad. Which, I, I really, really like the ideology of making curses in that way, where they, they do have a potential positive to them. I think that's just a much more enjoyable way for everyone. Rather than the base game cases, which are just like, meh, screw you. Oh well. I don't know if destroying these does anything. Oh my god. Dude, why is why are my entities moving around my bombs right now? That's not normal, right? Like, what the hell's going on with my bombs? My, like, my, my familiars are able to move around my bombs, and I'm unsure as to why that is. Like, watch, my snake can, can, like... Oh, no, no. Now it's fine. Very confusing. Everything is very confusing right now. I don't really know what to tell you. But what, 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 what's slinking through? This is a bit of a weird run, really. Like, it's, it's got a lot of potential, but it's certainly lacking in a few aspects. It'd be nice to see my uh, my birthright come to fruition and actually, actually get us up to the right HP levels. Get us up to 18 hearts, but I've got to say that's not something that's going to happen super, super soon. And we got Mother. See, like, what the, f the flippity- what the hell's going on with my bombs? very confusing and it's causing me many an issue. Oh no. Okay, I've spawned my ghosts in, but they've gotten entirely latched onto the mum's foot entity and now they're not doing anything. So, that was a little bit of a waste of my money there. Having a really hard time getting these bombs to hit. Honestly, this is a, a very, very slow mum fight. And the uh, the number one is not making it any easier. This is, I don't know, this is kind of... This is this has gone from what, what seemed like a really, really good run to one that's actually kind of lacklustre. The Devil Deal I will check out because, like I said, this is a bit lacklustre. Um, we have to take Polaroid here. I don't think we're going to be activating Horror of Babylon anytime soon. And I honestly don't even think we need Spectral Tears either. So I, I, the Tears up is nice, but we've already got high Tears. This has not been great. This has not been great. And you may be thinking, if it's not been great, why are you still skipping rooms? But to that I answer, I don't want to struggle through a ton of rooms. 
with low damage. It's just because, yeah, we haven't had a single damage upgrade since, um... What was, what was our original damage upgrade? Or does Maggie start with four damage? Maybe she does. I don't think she does. Doesn't seem right. But yeah, we haven't had a damage upgrade in a long while, which is, yeah, causing a lot of issues. Four damage on the womb is pretty, pretty rough. I'm looking for what I can. But I think we've just got to deal with fate as it is. As it comes to us. And hope we can get like a miracle devil or angel deal on this floor or the next. That can turn us around somewhat. Ooh, the cell heart's nice. Oh, that's... This 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 item, the, the shield thing, is still doing absolute work. I'm still really enjoying utilising that as much as I can. Unfortunately, the, the statues item hasn't really been as lucrative as I would have hoped. Mainly just because of our shot speed. Our, our increased shot speed at, like, what is it, 1.82 now? Just makes Herming kind of completely useless almost. We're unable to really... Oh, dude, I just knocked that guy into myself. I'm unable to really herm in on, on an enemy um, without it just, like, zooming past them. And yeah, our birthright is like, it's a cool birthright, but it doesn't really do anything for us if we don't get the HP to support it. Which at the minute, we are quite a ways off of. I love these enemies. These enemies are really, really cool. They're scary, but they're really cool. Oh, balls. Very, very bad hit on my behalf there. I just kind of watched it happen. Spaceship looking thing. I just love the fact that it deals such like strong knockback damage when you get the shield knocked into them. I just never knew that was something you could do with this character. Or with this character, with this item. It's pretty special. I just think it's neat. That's fast becoming one of my favourite memes. Even though like I I was gonna say I, I don't watch Simpsons. I I I can't really say that. As a, as, a, as a kid, I used to watch a ton of Simpsons. Um, I, in fact, for for like a good few years of my life, I don't remember how old I was, I had a Simpsons-themed bedroom. So I definitely watched a lot of Simpsons when I was younger, but I haven't watched it in a really long time. But still, that means making the rounds and I'm liking it. Just Marge, where she's holding the potato and she says, I just think this is neat. Or I just think they're neat. It's great. <laughs> it just it can apply to so many things. Ah, you... I always forget how much range those whippy boys have on them. It's 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 a lot more than you'd expect. But we are, we are actually on a pretty decent struggle bus here. Like, this is a bit of a struggle bus of a run because our range, our damage sort of thing. But we're making it through reasonably well. I will say one thing that I am truly, truly disappointed with is the absolute lack of money we've been finding. Like, I, I feel like Repentance, you always seem to, like, end the game with, like, 70 money. This time it's like, nah, you got, like, 11. I want more. Yeah, the Ghosties do a good job against the big boss. Oh, I lost my Morbid Heart. God damn it. Took a lot of damage I shouldn't have in this fight. It's kind of unnecessary, but it's happened now. Getting bopped. And plus a little bit of luck. The, the puzzle piece is nice, but I doubt that'll pay off. A stranger. We'll see. Puzzle pieces can like pay out really quick or take forever sometimes. It just kind of depends. Unfortunately, rather horrendous room here. Gotta say, enemies I really, really prefer not to fight. Especially with low range when they're getting stuck in the corner there. Range up, range up, range up. I can see forever is actually not bad. Forever. I was really hoping for a range up though. 
Now, this is a gamble because we could lose all our money and get nothing in return here, but we got nothing in return. God damn it. You, you need at least seven to pay out. Oh, no, sorry. At max seven. They can pay out under that, but check out what we got going on in here. You're not going to whip me this time. I am prepared. Hopefully our snake boy will take care of these little dudes pretty much. There was a lot of wide area. The poison should deal with them quickly. Tell you what. I have been playing so much Diablo. <laughs> Diablo 4 came out the other day. I've been playing a lot of it. It's it's really, really fun. It's definitely got some, some, some minor issues that I think are going to get cleaned up pretty quickly. Um, mainly just like... The density of enemies to fight is kind of low in some areas, but I'm having a lot of fun with it regardless. A lot and a lot of fun. I'm still looking... Like, I, I finished the story now. I'm, like, doing all the end game content now, and I've, I've got, like, most of the pieces I want. I'm just looking for, like, one more piece to my build, and then it'll be, like, really good. And then it's just all about, like, optimizing, grinding out, like, the side missions. I've, I've got, like, tons of side missions to do. Um, and then, uh... There's like these things called nightmare dungeons as well, which are like harder versions of the regular dungeons. Dude, are we gonna die? I just took a lot of damage there. This really felt like a super, super solid run to start us off, and it's it's not oh dude, I did not know you did that. You Okay, this is getting real crazy. Okay, thank you for the heart. Very much needed that. Now if if you could do me the kindness of being the secret room that's just absolutely full of HP, I would be forever in your debt. Not quite what I was hoping for. Ah. Nope. And we also didn't really get any more money. Um, I should realistically go back and grab grab that chest now. I've got two extra coins because it will open. Otherwise, it's kind of sunk cost fallacy at this point. I kind of have to. I, don't, I can't remember how far back it was now, but I put money into it. I kind of have to finish it off. Also, is that a tinted rock? I'm pretty sure it is. That it were. I'm glad I went back. See the amount of things I miss. If I don't go back. I am a fool. I'm just not the sort of person that min-maxes. I've, I've never been and never will be. I'm not the sort of person to spend ages on a floor. And like I said as well, even on a run like this where we are we are somewhat struggling. Um, I, I could definitely have potentially alleviated some of my struggle. By just doing more of the rooms on the early floors to potentially get more money, which could use with our active, or potentially even get some items from here and there. There could have been a planetarium, stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm just it's just not the way I play. Sometimes I'll do it, it depends how I'm feeling, but a lot of the time I'm like, nah. Now remember that when she brimstones, we can knock that we can knock that stuff all the way back. Also, apparently just knocking you back into yourself does quite a bit of damage, too. I want to use some bombs, but I don't, I don't know where they're going to end up, so I'm a little scared. Looks like we got her. Nice one. Um, no deal. We did get a heart there. Um, we'll be going up. Okay, so I think at this point, pretty much everything rides on the four chests. Pretty much everything rides on the fortress, if we make it that far, that is. Obviously, we've still got to, um... Uh, ooh, I do not like this as a room, as far as things go. Um, we've still got to actually make it past Isaac and stuff. Um, which isn't going terribly well right now. Good. Nice. Honestly, if we didn't have this Divine Intervention or whatever the hell it's called... I think we'd be in such a worse spot right now. It is, it is genuinely providing some really, really good damage output. How exactly does this work? I'm confused. Do I have to bait one of you into shooting the um, that guy? Apparently not. I don't know. That was confusing. Oh yeah, it's just it's just providing so much potential additional damage. No item, but a little bit more money, which is good for Isaac. 
Isaac's a boss that can take quite a lot of damage to this. A library? Yeah, I'm trying to think of what could be good there, but you never know what you're going to get. Could get the uh, the library card that gives us all the books. Ooh, dude, I just kind of stood there and accepted that, didn't I? Hey, next puzzle piece as well, baby. Right. Um, apply random status effects to enemies in the room. Kind of interesting. We've also got the encyclopedia, which isn't very good. The book of secrets. Eh. Unfortunately, I'm not going to bother with any of those. I will pick this one up, I guess. I think this is better. We did get a room with some HP in it for us, which is rather nice. Heal myself up two additional hearts. I like it. Good, good, good. Like I said, I was really hoping to have more money than this by now, but... It is what it is, I guess. Okay, this is going to be an annoying room. Okay, apparently this guy is giving these guys herming, which I... Do not like. It's a little latched on boy. I don't have the range. Snake boy. Kill him for me. Constantly trapped. Such a cool enemy, enemy mechanic though. This trapping circle. You see that? I just pushed that guy into a wall and did half his HP to him. It's absolutely nuts. Bugger. I keep thinking the shield lasts longer than it does, and I'm trusting it too much. I'm losing HP because of it. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Taking lots of damage I shouldn't be taking. Okay, the ghosts didn't do a great deal. Like, they did an okay bit of damage there, but I was kind of hoping they'd do a lot more than that. Now, I think the way to kill him here is going to be using the shield, but I, I've got to be careful with it, because that was a very, very bad usage of said shield right there. There you go. We use it like that, and then we, get, we step back. Oh, careful, careful, careful. It's working out pretty well, actually. Oh, bug, I stood right in the light. Now that's a good kill there. Right. Now we've got very low health. We have to really, really hope that these next four chests push us over the edge. Relic has been unlocked. Nice. Gotta say, they're not amazing. Euphoria is especially bad because it means we can't use our shield if we're using Euphoria. And obviously Dead Sea Scrolls is Dead Sea Scrolls. Gives us Anakis cookbook. Thanks, I guess. Oh, we did get Curse of Darkness though, so we do have piercing for this floor. That is somewhat of a help. We only have one look, unfortunately, so we're not going to be getting a lot of items. And when we do, there'll be other gaps that we can't get over. Thanks, game. It was real kind of you there. Certainly didn't absolutely hate that. my holy mantle already. Alright, come on. Oh, you jumped right over my goddamn shield and you hit me as well. Okay, this this is this is probably the room that we die in if I'm not careful, so let's uh try and be careful. There you go, we're good. Gonna need a lot more HP game. <gasps> Puzzle piece three. I'm going to say no to you for now. You're pretty good, but we need the red hearts. Oh, no. This guy can absolutely destroy me if I'm not careful. I'm trying to stay as close as I can to knock him back and deal extra damage. But it's not the safest way of fighting, I'll be honest. 
Oh, as if. I picked up a red heart and got hit the moment I picked it up. That's what you get if you don't pay proper attention, fool. Oh my god. Strange. This is, this is a rough room right here. This room I am not the biggest fan of. We can't even kill the, the bombing ones until this guy's dead either, so... Gotta bide our time. Okay. Good, good, good. There's a particularly spicy room we can spam our space bar to get some more DPS out. Not the best of ideas. I thought I'd save it for the boss, but it's available to us if we need it. Oh, come on. Not bombs. I need HP. Oh! What was I... I was talking smack about um, Scapula earlier. And it comes in clutch, baby. I was talking smack. I was saying I won't need this item. Never me. And then it comes in clutch. Saving the day, even if I talk smack about it. It holds no grudges. Could be good. See? Oh, ho it gave us hearts, baby. Amazing. We got a golden plumber dum dum. Can't remember what the golden plum does. It's explosive, right? I don't remember. No, it's coins. And then you explode and you die? I swear there's an explosion somewhere. Okay, no. I'm just thinking of a different champion version of Baby Plum, I think. Nice one. We're good. Now this, this is a situation that we're not good. This is, a, yeah, this this room is horrendous. You know what? Spam out some ghosties. Get them doing work. Not much I can do here. Other than hope for the best. What a horrendous room. It's still not done. I can't, I can't get to this last bladder taking so much damage. Why is it so, so much health? <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Actually horrible. Do I want these guys to open? No, I don't. Okay. Sometimes you want them to open, sometimes you don't. Okay. This guy is also a bit of a toss pot. Wow. That opened a secret room and did an insane amount of damage to this guy. That's actually good now. We'll take that. I could duplicate any one of our followers, which is pretty good considering we don't need anything else we've got there going on. More health, please. Smart fly. Okay, I guess. Oh lord. I tell you what, I must say I don't like the looks of this. Oh dude, there's rocks spawning now? Okay. Wasn't privy to the rocks spawning, but... Okay, we're on the final countdown now. We at least want to get a blue baby kill out of this if we can, so let's uh, try and play this as safe as we can. We can use the Empress card for a, a smidging of damage. These guys ain't so bad. Oh 
Okay, 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 okay. I think we just have to spam our space bar. Got a bit of damage going on. And this is very much a Hail Mary play. We just gotta hope for the best. If I beat Blue Baby, I'll be happy. Mega Satan probably ain't gonna happen. Scapula saved us. Smart Fly is in action. Seems to be my shot speed that's making the bombs go all wacky. Oh, that attack scared me. Yes! Okay. We got we got the blue baby kill. We got the blue baby kill. So now it's just seeing what we can make happen. I'm very happy we got that locked in. Because at least now we've done something. It's not all in vain. Room's really sketching me out, man. That would have been good a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Not so great now. Oh, God, it's you guys. Do not like these bees. Push him into the corner. Yeah, there you go. Just a key? Come on now. I'm really looking for a lot more money and a lot more HP. <laughs> Doubt I'm going to find it though. Got to be hopeful. Oh, that's a look upgrade though. That could sway us in the right direction. Pills. Health up doesn't really help. Merged card. The world. Me okay. It's turned into a diffuse. Don't know what the merged card originally was, but it's gone now. It's a bit sad. And our last item is Vault of Havoc. Ah, we can't even use that. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Here we go. This is not going to be a pleasant fight, I wouldn't say. I don't think we're going to have a great time here. But I will try my very best. I will try my very best. Yeah, don't really know how this is going to go. But I, I, I suspect we're going to be dead reasonably quickly. My hope is that my Divine Shield can do a good bit to help me out. Like, if I can knock back his Brimstones or, like, a lot of his shots and deal damage that way, that could be good. But I, I don't really know how far that's going to take me. I'm suspecting not very far. I'll probably just use my Ghosts now, why not? Of course he all went for the goddamn hand, and then lifted up the moment after. That was a waste. <laughs> also, seemingly can't really push the enemies into walls here, which is not ideal. We've made it further than I thought we'd come on this run, though, so it's not all bad. Not being all bad. You're dead.
The Iron Shield's still doing good work for a goddamn this horsey carriage thingy. Got him 25% of the way dead. Not a lot, but it's something. I want him to do a brimstone and me uh, hit it back. There are you. Oh, I bloody missed it, didn't I? I saw it happening and I wasn't ready. Oh, bugger. It's all gone pear-shaped. Yeah, they exploded onto me. Anyways, interesting run. We actually did achieve some things, so it's not all a loss. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.